Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of BNB Toys. Today we're going to look at the G.I. Joe Retro Lady J figure. I was very interested in opening this figure, but I kind of waited to do the review because I wanted to get a bunch of baddies out of the way. She's got some really nice weapons. Looks like she's got some pretty good sculpt work on there, detail. Uh, I like the figure. Looks good with that baggy clothing, her javelin weapon. Yeah, that card art is great with the fire in the background. I know I don't mention it a lot, but it really is. If you want to pause and read, go ahead. Otherwise, let's not waste any time and let's get this good girl open. All right, guys. So, as always, we're going to look at our weapons first. Here she's got what seems to be like a little Uzi, if I can zoom in correctly. That's uh, a really nice weapon. Great sculpt. Could have used a little touch of color in there, but... It's not hard to do with a little nail polish or craft paint. I like the silencer on the end. Does it come off? No, unlike the Destro figure I'm working on. Yeah, again, really nice sculpt, nice weapon. She has a longer assault rifle here. I think this is a lot better. It's got a little touch of brown here for padding or whatever around the, well, magazine or clip, whatever you call it in these big guns. As you can see here, it's got very nice detail punched in and the safety and all that up here. Same thing on both sides. Actually, this side's different than that side, which I think is nice. They actually put a lot of work into this. I just wish they colored it a little more, but even still, it's a really nice weapon. And this is her specialty weapon, which is like a javelin gun, I guess. The six inch one does come apart. This one does not. As you can see, they punched a lot of detail in here. And the color and everything. I wish there was a place to put these on the figure because apparently, I mean, she does have a backpack I didn't know about, but there's nothing, unlike the classified line, there's nothing to attach anything to her. But still, it's nice to have weapons and G.I. Joe's a line where you should have plenty of weapons. She also has her stand, which I don't really show because, you know, those are the same. So getting into the review of the figure here, this head's just on a post and that's it. You can't get any articulation except for to spin it. So if you want to turn to the side or something like that, that's fine. As far as her waist goes, she crunches down this far, which is very nice. And she comes back about to upright. She does have a little bit of a tilt, although it's a little difficult to get it, but you kind of have to turn to the side to achieve it. Yeah, I really like this webbing on, what they call webbing on her. I think that's really, really nice. Punched in with the, well, was that a parachute or airborne logo? So her arm comes up that high, which is very impressive for retro. Also turn it around as well to achieve maximum height. She does have the 90 degree. Her arm is very, very, very gummy, very soft. You see this hand wants to come off. Unfortunately, there's no articulation in the wrist except for it to spin, which is fine. But I mean, these guys carry these guys and gals carry guns, so I would like to see that more done in figures. Seems like Retro is just repeating what they've made before. Her leg comes out that far, comes forward that far. Perfect sitting figure, as you can see. She's double jointed, pinless on top, but not on the bottom. Don't really get why they did that, but. At least we're getting figures, right? So going back, she doesn't really have anything at all because of this. She's hindered by her butt cut. I don't know. That's what I'm calling it. Coin the phrase or whatever, but I'm calling it that. She has no movement anywhere else. Her No thigh cut, nothing. Just her boot. And her boot foot goes down that far. And it comes up this forward. I'm just having a problem with my camera focusing today. I hope this turns out to look good when I put the video up. And now I'm going to give you guys a little look at her. I really like the bagginess on her outfit. I think it fits her well. The straps on tight or not are very nice. Even, you know, sculpted to come around her lady parts up there. Her face is funny because it's it looks more like Princess Leia. And it's a better Princess Leia than Hasbro's done in the past, to be honest with you. Up till recently with that photo tech. But um, I'm really impressed by the backpack here a lot. I just wish she had like a pistol or, you know, or like a little thing and she could just clip on to carry one or two guns, especially her javelin. I mean, they could have just done a little peg in there like they do with many other figures. 
But yeah, other than that, the hat with the hair is really nice, guys. The sculpting detail is nice. I mean, they have the little pockets here to make it look more natural. Yeah, again, they did a really good job on her, but there's not much to her as far as articulation except for what you saw, and I do have a little spacing here. Yeah, no big deal when the character's up on the shelf. But yeah, thank you guys very much again for watching my video. If you can like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. I do plenty, plenty of reviews on G.I. Joe, Star Wars, Fortnite. Jeez, I even take requests too if somebody's really looking for a review on something that hasn't been reviewed. But I'll see you guys next time. And stay classy, my friends.